Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to test this Xeon E5645, launched in 2010. Awesome CPU, it's got 6 cores and 12 threads. Back in the days when it was released, it had a price tag of $555. It was very expensive CPU, but 12 years have passed and we need to see if this CPU is still valid. It's got 2.4 gig of uh, megahertz on the core speed and hopefully it's still relevant i mean still relevant this is the whole purpose of today to make it relevant because i only bought it with three pounds <laughs> and if i can make it relevant there is no limit on the budget builds all right let's start with apex apparently uh this is going to be very intensive on the CPU and I want to see how it's performing, you know. So we got a lot of benefits from this computer, but uh, yeah, put it on medium. Looks like medium, you know, lightning. Uh, let's take some stuff out. 4 gig of VRAM. Do not stress it, you know, and maybe we can put uh, this one. Oh, everything disabled. Everything is reflex. Enable and boost. It's the best thing ever. All right, let's jump in and see how it's working. Oh my God, the CPU is actually holding the job. I'm the jump master. It's ha actually holding for the job. All right, I love it. 50, 60, there's a couple of cores that is reaching maximum, but that's it, it's fantastic. Seven gig on the system, and I mean, it's actually enough for this with low details. It's not very demanding on the, on the system. Uh, I really like how it's performing, but uh, the CPU it's on. It's on point, man, it's on point. Come on. We need to see how the game is set up in order to continue. I think it's on maximum details because look at it, look, look at the freaking settings here. <laughs> okay, so it doesn't matter. This is, this is DirectX 11 because with DirectX 12, I have problems. So theoretically, this is my settings for this uh, CPU. And I think there is a high chance that this CPU can do the job. Take your, take your poison with me. It's on the limit, Turetic keeps spiking to the maximum and um, yeah, that's the reason I only have this amount of FPS. Considering this is maximum details on uh, on DirectX 11, I will say this is okay. Everything is good. GPU usage, system RAM, the CPU can hold a lot of... There's a lot of games that I need to test in order to, to show you how the CPU is working. But for me, in my eyes, this CPU, it's already validated. There is no video without uh, a, a GTA 5 in, in the test, you know? So today we're gonna see how it's working with... Uh, uh, with what the settings the game has uh, put us. So he said the DirectX 11, interesting, because we're interested in how the CPU is working. This is very interesting to see. All right, so I didn't know popularity, uh, population density and variety, it's based on what? I don't know why he chooses one or, or another one because I have a kick-ass video card. So it, it's got nice settings here, see, for, for the GPU. Uh, hopefully we don't have any motion blur. No motion blur without and the smallest population density and variety. Distance can be. So it's okay. <laughs> this is banana thumb. Look at this. Ah, oh, okay. 28 FPS, 30 FPS. I think this is DirectX 11. I'm gonna take a ride and see if we can spin the wheel. You know, see how it's running. Oh, the fucking lag is real. But why? The core usage is... I think it's hyper-trade. 
The core usage is not loaded. What, what, why are you lagging with 23 FPS? We're in the casino. Usually we have lag here because of the population. All right, let's see how we, we can spin the wheel. We don't win nothing. Wish I had a car, but whatever. Money, it's okay. Money and chips. Fish and chips. Give me money. Fish and chips. Chips. Well done. I think the CPU... I think they, not the core users because the core, I think the hyper threads. I think something is very weird with this one because it only got 24 FPS and it, uh, let's try it on DirectX 11. This is DirectX, uh, DirectX 10 now and it still lags. Best car ever for for snow. All right, look at it. Fucking lags like a dog. I don't understand. Everything is good. It, uh, it barely passes 50% on the core. The, like the memory is not even used the gpu memory is not used it's not overheating nothing it's everything is golden still lags 20 30 fps i think it's time to test uh, fortnite with uh, the cpu i'm gonna use uh, performance mode because i don't want to stress the i don't want to stress the cpu so i'm gonna stay in performance mode because i want to give the cpu the best chance there is you know so i'm gonna make my own custom one um custom settings i think i'll put everything on low details and uh yeah go, i'm gonna keep 100% render scale see can we average the fps now until i'm in the air gpu load non-existent system memory under half on the core usage oh my god is doing a freaking fantastic job the only problem is is the fan, the speed on the on the gpu that is literally at maximum i'm not gonna lie it's a decent experience with this uh, cpu Three pounds experience with this computer with the CPU. If you're interested on actually getting a, a monitor for a system like this, you can actually do it. Get a kick ass uh, video card like this one. Uh, you use this uh, CPU, this 2010 CPU, and you get a nice performance. Seriously. Having this uh, uh, cyberpunk game now with all the updates, it will be an honor to see how this CPU is working. So, first off, I want to see what do I have. 36 FPS. Maximum load on those cores. <laughs> Not very funny, seriously. But it's working. Very spiky, but it's working. Oh, look at that. 100% course. <laughs> Brilliant. It makes me so happy, this 3 pounds CPU. Seriously. Very proud. I'm very proud. And I think it's a very good decision that I started uh, acquiring 1366 CPUs, you know, because uh, it shows me that there's so many good deals, so many awesome, cheap CPUs that can allow me to play so many games. You know, so in, in this case, look at it. With the Z400, with the E5645, I get to play Cyberpunk with 40-50 FPS. Okay, okay. Ultra details, maximum. With ultra performance, like this. 30-40 FPS. See? I managed to load up the GPU, and now I get the opportunity to play it. Ah, oh, it's shit. <laughs> Uh, I think I have to put it on low details or something. Put it on low DLSS ultra performance apply. See 45. Now the frame time is much better. So on low details, it's it's decent. It's very stable, very very snappy. You know, that frame time is not everywhere. Before when I maxed it out, it was like what 50, 60, 100 keep jumping everywhere but if i can keep it with 10 20 fr 10 20 frame time that's the best deal you know it doesn't stress the the gpu it doesn't stress my cpu and that's it see only a couple of times it goes to 100 let's try forza horizon apparently this is gonna be interesting because uh, you know forza horizon got medium details with high i think this is something that the game has uh, managed to put high ray tracing this is impressive 1080p Actually, it's very impressive, seriously. 
is way too impressive. The DLSS is helping me because I think the core is way, 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 when it is safe to do so. way too low. It's having decent FPS as a minimal considering how old is the CPU, you know. I'm not gonna say it's uh, some kick-ass performance, but uh, it's doing the job, you know. It's doing the job. I don't understand this with the limit on the CPU. I think it's from the, it's from the frequency, you know. That's why it's lagging. That's why it's got so many uh, low FPS, you know. But it's struggling. It's trying to keep up with the with the GPU. The temperature on the CPU it's magnificent because um, yeah, I have no problems with that cooler that is from HP. Overall, I cannot say nothing about this CPU. I think it's a, it's a great asset to have with my. Uh, 1366 uh, collection it's a fantastic cpu 80 watts there's a, maybe a chance so i can uh, put it in my z600 uh, this is a perfect candidate because apparently the x models i cannot put them because i need a special fan for that z600 uh, computer but um, hey i hope everything uh, will be okay in the future and maybe i can find something similar or even better than the cpu under 100 watts and we'll get different type of content from that machine until then i will have to use this machine you know this z400 and test more cpus like this i love the cpu that i tested today it shows me that i can use it uh daily i can 100 percent i can play csgo dota world of tanks all kind of games that were released a couple of years ago actually 2010 with the cpu and i can guarantee you those games were run really nice on the cpu with this rtx 3060 ti so what do you think